Good. So in order to find the equation of the tangent line, we used a similar process before. That is, we want to write, we want to find this y equal to y minus y zero equal to m times x minus x zero. Do we have the information for x zero and y zero? Yes, in this case it's this. That is um, x zero equal to negative one and y zero is equal to negative nine or four. What we are missing at the moment is m. But luckily, as we've seen before, m here is just the derivative of y evaluated at x zero, which is in this case negative one. So then the first task is to actually figure out the y dash at negative one. To do that, I first need to find y dash. But before I can go and find y dash, I need to expand y because these involve a product. So I have x cubed over 4 times 8 plus x cubed over 4 times negative x. Simplifying this means 2x cubed and then minus x to the power of 4 over 4. Now I take the derivative with respect to x. So it's 2 times 3, power comes down, power is reduced by 1, minus power comes down again, power is reduced by 1, 4. Therefore, simplifying this will give me 6x squared minus x to the power of 3. And now I need to evaluate it at negative 1. So that is will be 6 times negative 1, everything square, minus negative 1, everything raised to the power of 3. So that becomes 6 minus, minus minus become plus. So I'm going to have a gradient of 7. So returning to this step here, the equation of the line, equation of the tangent line, point of negative 1, negative 9 over 4, this x coordinate negative 1, and y coordinate negative 9 over 4 will become y minus, when you have a negative value, it's best to use the bracket, and then 7 times x minus minus 1, so this is y plus 9 over 4 equal to 7x minus minus 1 plus, Therefore, y is equal to 7x plus 7 minus 9 over 4. So that becomes y equal to 7x plus um, 28 minus 9 over 4 because 7 is 28 over 4. So the answer here is 7x plus 19 over 4. So here's the equation of the tangent line. Now we're going to look at another example. You might want to try this example by yourself first by pausing the video. Once you're ready, press the play button. Okay, so our procedure before is to first write out this formula y minus y0 equal to m times x minus x0. So now let's check, do we have the information for y0 and x0? Aha, uh -huh. this has been given. So x0 in this case is negative 1, y0 in this case is 6. How about m? m can be found by taking the derivative and evaluating it at x0, in this case negative 1. So I need to find the first derivative of y. But first, I'm going to re-express my y as 6 times x to the power of negative 2 because writing it as x power negative 2 make it easier for me to take the derivative. So now the derivative is just simply power comes down and then power is reduced by 1, negative 2 minus 1. So it's negative 12 x to the power of negative 3. That can be also be written as negative 12 divided by x cubed. So evaluating this at negative 1 means negative 12 divided by negative 1 raised to the power of 3. That 
is negative 12 divided by negative 1, which is just 12. So then, now the equation of the tangent line, equation of the tangent line at this point is just simply going to be y minus 6 equal to 12 x minus minus 1. Again, when it's a negative value, use a bracket. So this is 12 times x plus 1, y minus 6 here. Therefore, simplifying this, give me 12x plus 12 and then plus 6, which is y equal to 12x plus 18. And here is the answer. But unfortunately, we need to check the question. The question say, I have to put it into this particular form of ax plus by plus d. In this case, a, b, and d, the parameters are usually assumed to be integers. So I'm not quite finished. So I need to do the next step, which is 12x minus y plus 18 equal to 0. That is a equal to 12, b equal to negative 1, and c is equal to 18.